last quarter, the Demons by nine points. It's been a fascinating contest. There's Doyle, a quick kick down towards the half forward line. Here's Uze in his first game for the Demons. A lot of class down the line. Punched away by Turner. Back it comes towards line. Socket away by Jamie Tape. He's been a good player. He loses the ball in the tackle and the Tigers soccer it through for our behind to the Demons. It's been a seesawing game. It's been a very even game. It's been excellent entertainment. At one stage, Melbourne led by 26 points during the second quarter. Scott Turner, who had to move back onto uh, Gary Lyon after the Melbourne skipper started so well. This ball's at the centre of the ground already. Clever tap out. Rogers, Roderick, short of the 50. Brendan Gale takes the mark. Sweeps the hand pass. Rogers started this, and here he is again. Overruns it. Obst knocks it away from him. Rogers after it again. Second effort and now third effort. And Stephen Phoebe sees the ball over the boundary line and will have a throw in. It's been a day of great entertainment here. Many lead changes, co tenants. The crowd divided just about 50 50 between Melbourne and Richmond, and they've shouted themselves hoarse. Ball back out of play. For Melbourne, Gary Lyon has kicked three. David Neitz has kicked three. Andy Lovell has been a star with four goals. And for the Tigers, little Chris Nace has kicked three. Michael Gale has kicked two. And they've had three or four players kicking singles. You see Brendan Gale kicked away by Stephen Phoebe. He's been an excellent player. So is Jamie Tate. Look at him going in to do the shepherding. He's trying to allow Campbell to come through. Well done. Greg Deere's been quiet. Steins has had the better of him. Taken by Campbell. A quick kick. Back to in the direction of the half forward line. Neil went without it. It's tapped back. Broderick's been a star. Well played, Paul Broderick. And he brings it in towards the half forward line. It's been hooked in by Mark Neal, the former Geelong player. Gee, Broderick has been excellent. He found space there. He didn't wheel around naturally onto his left foot, pushed himself a little bit of wider, threw his opponent off, and then found the room he was looking for. So Mark Neal will have to kick from about 49 metres directly in front. There's the kick. He hooks it across his body. And a one behind only to the Tigers. 66 by 75. So nine-point margin in favour of the Demons. Behind each to start the final turn. Marcus Seacamp, ex Fitzroy player, that kick didn't quite carry here, and heaps of bother. Andrew Obst. And lucky to get away with that, getting a free kick going against Wayne Campbell. So it's always a risk, isn't it, staging for the free? And no, no doubt Andrew Obst did stage for that one. That time he was fortunate enough to get it. Lights have been turned on here at the MCG on a dark Saturday afternoon. The punch down is grabbed by Cal. Steins has absolutely killed Deere in the ruck. Kick by Steins, back to Cal, who double passed. Still on the true centre wing position. Short pass. Tingay left Michael Gale in his wake. Stephen Tingay comes it long to full forward. Lyon with Turner. Gary Lyon! Started the game in a blaze, kicked two in the first quarter, three in the first half, and even though he hasn't had many kicks, this will be his sixth only. He'll be going for his fourth goal. No. Disappointing. That's three goals, one to Gary Lyon. It is disappointing after what was another very fine mark. Gary Lyon, some four marks for the day. And on each occasion, he's been able to read the ball faster, better, and outbody his direct opponent to take the ball very well. Started on uh, Duncan Calloway, and then they moved Turner onto him. Turner's quietened him. Here's Doyle. Neats. Knocks it on to Glenn Lovett. Lovett. Back to Tingay. Tingay. Oh, look at the smother. Tremendous play. Wayne Campbell and, uh, well, two prong then. Calloway and Campbell. So that just shows the desperation of Richmond. We're not on top for nothing. A lot of people have underrated. Well, it was actually kicked into uh, Wayne Campbell then. Half forward flank. Right in front of the Melbourne members stand. Tingay has started to become important in the context of the game. Michael Gale was uh, the dominant Richmond player in the first half, but now Tingay has worked his way back into it. Steins and Deer. Deer wins that one. 
Broderick to the line. Good play by Paul Broderick. And he's had a big day, Paul Broderick. 23 possessions. Matthew Knights. Left foot snap round the body. Up towards centre wing. Mark Neal with the gloves. Gains some distance. Loses the ball. Stephen Phoebe just about took it out. Doyle combines well with Brett Lovett. Kicked by Lovett. Ob's going in the same direction as the ball. Lost sight of it. Matthew Phoebe. Good tackle by Knights. Dispossesses him. Steins. Intercepted by Campbell. Kicked by Wayne Campbell to half forward. Gale. Spoiled by Primke. Comes to Neal. The kick inside 50. 2-1 to one Richmond. And the one Melbourne player got the ball. Darren Cowell. Well played by Cowell. And he's got a loose man out here on centre wing. And this is Matthew Phoebe. Gives it over. Seacamp. Todd Miney. He's caught. That's holding the ball. Must be holding the ball. And the umpire's paid it. He put the ball on the ground. Good tackle. Great chase from Maxfield. Maxfield. There was three that he tried to get and he finally got the last one. Well, that is sheer determination by Maxfield. As the ball comes down to half forward, but taken by Steve Phoebe. He's been a terrific player. 18 kicks and eight handballs. That says it all. Phoebe for the half forward line. Neats punched away by Bullis. Taken by Hopgood. The little fella's got it. Hooks it back to the pocket. He was looking for Lyon. What can he do? Handballs it, then was held by Turner, then tapped over the line, holding the man the line. Umpire saying he handballed it, then was grabbed by the jumper. And he was right. Yeah. Quick handball, then he was dragged. The release was pretty quick for mine. <laughs> you know, a little bit trigger happy in there, perhaps the umpire, but uh, Lyon now deep in the pocket. Yeah, he'll probably run out and open up the goals here, Gary Lyon. No, he's going to have a set shot. Bang! It would lift the crowd. I think he might have got this. Yes! Oh, what a goal. Great goal by the captain. He's kicked goal number four. Well, a 16-point lead to the Demons. Richmond have lost only once this year. That was in round eight to Geelong. Are they going under today? That was Viney getting it out of the middle. Here's the youngster, Uze. 17-year-old. Glenn Lovett. Oh, yes! He's got class at young kid Uze. Adam Uze. You can always tell, Peter, when the kick and the way the kick was nice and low was punched into the uh, into the forward line rather than tossed up by. Very good uh, boys about the boy. Oh, the Melbourne players came from all over the field to Pat Uze then. A 17-year-old from Shepparton in his debut. But it's Glenn Lovett to cap it off. And he's kicked the goal! Bounced out the D's. Uh, Neil Barman's uh, done his work at three-quarter time. And two of his senior players, Gary Lyon and now Glenn Lovett, have been on the end of some very good football through the midfield and been able to convert. Glenn Lovett missed uh, rounds three, four, and five from a hamstring injury, but now seems to be settled back in that regard and a very valuable player for Melbourne. So a big job for the Tigers now. Knights trying to crash his way through. Here's Greg Deer. That's holding the ball, I would think. No. Taken away by Todd Viney. The Demons coming home hard. Out wide, Jimmy Steins, and he marks the big Irishman in front of the Melbourne members. Off he goes. Now he'll have to come back over the mark. This is a good move by Neil Baum. Doyle in the ruck, running around with Greg Deer. Now Steins in the forward line. And Stein's a tall man in the forward line. It's really going to stretch the Richmond defence. Yes, good thinking by uh, Baum. So Jimmy Stein, he has uh, killed Greg Deer today. Just too mobile. And Stein, so wouldn't, Richmond wouldn't want Melbourne to get another one here. The lead is on. Can it get there? Oh, desperation. There's a Callaway diving in there, putting his body on the line and thumps it over. Very desperate player, isn't he? He's uh, always there uh, giving 100%, and uh, regardless of where the ball is, that, that, that is his objective. Demons by 22 points, but Richmond have come back before. They trailed by 26 and came back to hit the front. Here's Tingay, Lovett, into Brett Lovett. 
on the 50. Uze applying a tackle. Oh, uh, play on says the umpire. Swung to the ground by the collar, I would have thought. Oh. Two, three umpires, they still miss them, don't they? Have a look at this one. Look at that. Uh, mm. Oh, definitely around the neck. No, don't think so. What? Great umpiring. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to the umpire's ball, Drew Fenneken. <laughs> Here's Knights. They need goals desperately. Well played by Knights under Broderick, who's been outstanding. Down towards half foot. Pinky back with a fly to the ball. Sean White, caught. Gets in a hand pass. Here's Bond. He gets in a hand pass. Pinky again to Hopford. The Demons backing up here. Here's Phoebe. Steve Phoebe. The centre wing area. And it's stuck over for a behind. It's desperation stakes now for the Tigers. Melbourne on top. Can the young Tigers come back? Well, even though the Tigers on top of the ladder, there was certainly something to recommend Melbourne. They'd won five out of their previous six games coming in here. And they look as though they're going to beat the league leaders, Richmond. Glenn Lovett, pitch slick for Tinga. He's lost it. Gale, and the ball out of play. Still, there's nearly 11 and a half minutes left and four goals to nothing can win it for Richmond and they haven't worked their way to the top of the ladder for nothing this has been a great game all day Burke in ruck wins for Richmond backhander by Rogers Prescott short of the 50 and Cowell takes the mark in front of Nash yes good mark Cowell very very quick that's why he got to that ball first Rogers appealing for it Burke is back on the ground. Knocked on by Steve Phoebe. There's Stephen Tingay. Oh, Melbourne have lifted here. Steins gets it to Glenn Lovett. That was good team play. Meets desperation at the ball. And a bit of throw in again in front of the Melbourne members. And they are happy. Meets has been inspiring up there on the forward line. Ten kicks, five marks. An excellent play, and he's kicked three goals. Free kick in right for Steins. The Melbourne members wanted it. It wasn't coming. Steins, the hand pass to Obst. The kick has been marked by Neitz. David Neitz will be on a tight angle. And you'd reckon if he kicked this to make it a 28-point lead, gee, that'd make it tough for the league leaders. Kicked three goals today. been terrific on the forward line since the injury to David Schwartz. Neitz walks in, his approach is very casual and he misses that for the far side. I think he tried a banana kick then and he should have had a set shot. He should have, there is enough space there. I, of course there I, was. I think uh, too many players perhaps have a go at this banana when uh, with a direct drop punt would be far more efficient and effective. A couple of metres outside the line where he was is that it opened sufficiently enough for him to do that I think. Yeah. Still Richmond within four goals. Yes, they've got the, they normally come home hard, Richmond. Plenty of fighting spirit, but they need a couple of quick ones. We see Turner. The long kick towards the halfback. Oh, good mark to Burke. Should get on with it quickly. That's no good holding it up there at halfback. Oh, he's still fiddling around. You've got to move it. Good kick. The half forward line. Gale marks. Let's see what the Tigers can do. They're appealing, their supporters are appealing for fifth. They should be going for the square here. Long kick, put the pressure on the Melbourne defenders. That's the way, the long kick right down in front of goal, hoping someone could take a mark. But Doyle is the man there to fly in front of Deer. Oh, no, in front of Jerica, actually, and take a very, very good mark. Edwards is back on for the Tigers. Greg Deer has been benched. Gary Lyon getting back into defence. Now, you start to wonder whether they're going to protect this lead. Demons work it down the southern stand side. Neats oh. the runs. Nearly a kick in danger. It spills to Knights. Still a chance for the Tigers. Still Knights on all fours. Bullis. Up to half forward. Maxfield. A big climb. No mark. Gave away the free kick. No, it's his free kick. And it's advantage to Richmond. Here's Edwards just back on. Nice. Off the ground. Needed to be Shane Warne. Edwards again. White got it away from him. Back to Phoebe. And Melbourne have it out of play. Drew Edwards has had a fairly quiet and dirty day in the forward line. And 
with the uh, the loss of Daffy and Richardson out of the Richmond court line, they've been really uh, thin on for goal kickers today. Well, the Tigers still a chance. Jurek around the corner. It's a mark, is it? No. Sock it away. Quick kick is by Seacamp. Tinday couldn't mark. Tapped on by Bond. Here's Broderick. He's been a star. Brings it in for the goal. It's a mark to Maxfield. So a goal coming up to the Tigers. They're not done with yet. Well, starting to rain, Pete. You'd want to be in front of this stage, and I'll Melbourne say. have the points on the board. Stewie Maxfield has kicked one. He has been benched during the game. He is directly in front. Here's the kick. And he's goal. Two goals to the pacey wingman. 17 points the margin in favour of Melbourne. Well, again, it's Paul Broderick here who finds the space that other players were unable to find and on the left foot. And Stewie Maxfield somehow materialised in the goal square, all in his own. Carper kicking one goal, three leading up to that. I'm sure he's very, very pleased to put through the second one. Heavy conditions make it difficult for Richmond now. 17 points the margin. So the Tigers within three goals, eight minutes left. Andy Lovell's been superb. Kicked four goals as well. Ball held in, and the umpire will ball it up. Neitz has kicked three. Lyon and Lovell have kicked four each. And for the Tigers, Nash has kicked three. Maxfield and Michael Gale, two each. Brendan Gale up very high. The rain heavier than it's been all day. The ball very wet. Broderick to Knights. Up to half forward he goes. Cowell with his pace leads Nash. And Cowell sees the ball out. And will have a throw in. 70 metres from goal. Richmond back into attack. Northy tossing his forward line and midfield around Jurakic coming out to centre half forward and Brendan Gale going into the ruck now to try and instigate a comeback. Burke did the ruck work. Here's Doyle. Matthew Phoebe. Puts it on to Todd Viney. Prescott is there. Glenn Lovett trying to get it out. He lies on top of the ball. And as the rain tumbles down, the umpire on screen by Grant Vernon will bounce it. Crowd here today, 42,548. Big hit out from the middle. Youngster Burke over the top to Bond. Inside 50. Two against two. Almost to Richmond. Here's Nace, the goal sneak. Won't score with this one. The ball out of play in the right forward pocket. Nash has had only five kicks, but has managed three goals. Three goals taken to 27 for the season, equal with the injured Richardson, and just one behind the leading goal kicker, Daffy. Chance for the Tigers here. There he is, Nash. Oh, it's a tough footy in there. It's great. It's been a top contest all day. It has drew it started the first half started with some good free-flowing play but since half time both sides have locked down and it's been some very tough one-on-one -on -one contests right around the ground doyle and edwards cow gets it to todd Viney. here's chris bond hooking it back in front of goal they need a mark it is a mark no it's not oh t was close to a mark to maxfield couldn't quite grab it with that slippery ball now bar will bounce just needed one more one more bite he needed, I think. Two, three. No. Slippery ball. Just couldn't quite, quite hang on. Crowd not happy, but no, I don't think that was a mark. Campbell up high this time. There's Broderick, ridden into the ground by Seacamp. Play on. Two former Fitzroy teammates there. Here's Broderick again. Left foot snap. Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth. Hey, Paul Broderick, his best man on the ground. Richmond still a chance. 11 points the margin. It goes forward to Prinky. Prinky out of defence. A vital possession coming up. Nitz, no mark. Up by called play on. Knights gets in a hand pass. They're still going the Tigers. Burke is there. Burke again, well played by the young oh. player. Oh, Knights on the Bauer. Bauer to set a wing. Is it a mark? Yes. And the dog mark is it Tingay? Let me see when he gets up. Yes, it's Steve Tingay. Is it still pouring down? Five minutes of play left. Tingay to the half forward line. He finds Andy Lovell, who has kicked four goals. The 
composure of young David Burke and a passage of play back there. Brilliant. Andy Lovell's had a big day. Four goals as well. And impressive stats. 60 metres from goal. Edge of the goal square. Big pack. Off hands. Chance for line. Still a chance. At the goal. I don't know about this. He might pay it. I thought it was over the line. I think a replay might show it was very close. I reckon that was over the line when he kicked that. And you know what? It doesn't matter what we think. I know, <laughs> the but... goal umpire calls it. But it's a very fine call. The contest there. Lion, we're centimetres out from it. Over the line before... Oh, that X was over the line, I'm sure. Pretty good call, Peter McKenna. I reckon it was over before he kicked it. Another goal umpire who's going back to Siberia. Oh, vital call. Well, I think we'll be hearing more of that one. Here's Andy Lovell. I don't think we're on a crook angle. Sometimes camera angles can be wrong. You know, you can be in the wrong uh, side of it. But there's uh, Gary Lyon diving out there. But I'd say it'll be very difficult for Richmond now. 17-point lead to the Demons and four and a quarter minutes left. Gary Lyons kicked five goals for the day. And he's had just eight kicks. Matthew Phoebe. That's out of bounds inside the 50. And we'll have a throw in. Can't see many crowd there. They've all gone back for cover out of the rain. But there's 42,548 people here today. Scott Turner. He is still fuming about that. He wanted to argue with the goal umpire. But as Terry Wheeler said, it'll be a no good, son. Lovell, round the corner to the pocket. Out of bounds, and that'll suit Melbourne at this stage, with time running out under four minutes left. Well, four goal umpires wouldn't have helped that one. <laughs> That's just a judgmental thing at the time. But still, good performances by Melbourne, because... Various stages look like Richmond were getting on top. Melbourne have come back hard. There's Prescott to the half-back area. Tingay and Gale. Steve Tingay. A quick kick to the forward line. Andy Lovell and Jamie Tate. Still Andy Lovell. Gets in a hand pass. Michael Gale, the slippery ball difficult to control. Matthew Phoebe. Tingay. Steve Phoebe. He's everywhere. Down towards full forward, Neitz, a free kick against Neitz. And it'll go to Bullis. Bullis from the goal square. Short pass to the back pocket. Prescott. Long, thumping kick to centre wing. Rogers is there. Spoil front on by Phoebe. Free kick, Rogers. Test from Stephen Phoebe falling on deaf ears. Heavy rain now at the MCG. The kick to half forward. All Melbourne at ground level. I reckon the Demons have got this and they're going to give Richmond only their second defeat for the season. A dive unsuccessfully by Lyon and the ball is out for another throw in. He's got a grin on his face. Does he feel guilty about the last goal or is it just the four premiership points? No, he's been very good. He's now kicked 20, 21 goals in the last four weeks. Right in form, Gary Lyon. Yeah, vital player to the Demons. And again, the ball to the boundary line with two and a half minutes of play left. Been a titanic struggle. Two good sides, two even sides. And Melbourne continuing their climb up the ladder. Taken on the leaders and look as though they might have beaten them. Here's Broderick again, receiving from Knights. The conditions haven't suited uh, Edwards. The ball on the ground a lot today. Edwards dives on it. That could be holding it. No. And the umpire is going to bounce it. Each team was forced to make one change coming into today's game. Kevin Dyson out for Melbourne and Nick Daffy for Richmond. It just seems to me that the loss of Daffy has been far more crucial to the makeup of the Richmond side. Hobbs, he'll be able to celebrate his 100th game with a win here at the MCG. The ball's out of play at centre wing. Under two minutes remaining in the game and a 17-point lead to the Demons. 
prior to this, their run-up to this have been victories over Brisbane, Hawthorne, Collingwood and Sydney. A defeat to Carlton and a victory last week to St Kilda. It'll be six wins in seven for Melbourne after they lost their first six in a row. So it's been some sort of a comeback. And those streaks of wins or losses for the Ds continue, Drew. Richmond, no disgrace. Losses only to Geelong and now Melbourne. Over halfway mark of the season. And they'll still take some positives out of this one, even though they won't get the points, the Tigers. Fox stopped on a minute 43. Steins has been superb. Brett Lovett for Melbourne. Playing just his third senior game for the year. Prescott. Tate will take a high tackle and a free kick. Kick by Jamie Tape to centre half forward. Big leap by White. Frimpy. Nash is there. Inside 50. Still going, Chris Nash. Edwards, hardly out of touch all day. Most of the day on the bench. Hand pass this time, Edwards. Tingay missed with a hand pass. Very slippery bit of leather. Now fire a ball it up. 40 metres out from the Richmond goal. It's too late for them. They've been valiant in defeat. What a big season the Tigers, but Melbourne have been terrific. Tingay, second half, a lot better. He really lifted his game. Down to the Richmond forward. Oh, there's Edwards, who's had a shocker. Gale. Oh, great snap, Michael Gale. He split the centre. Terrific goal. Was outstanding in the first half, and the Tigers will not lie down. 11 points the margin, but they're going to run out of time. They will, and it's been a very good performance from both clubs. I mean, Richmond number one on the ladder coming into this game, and Melbourne number nine. You would not expect that that be the gap between these two sides the way they played today. Thrown up in the middle by the umpire. Goes Melbourne's way. Uze, number 44. 17-year-old kid from Shepparton. Be able to celebrate with a glass of milk tonight. Socket off the ground going Richmond's way. Just 23 seconds left. Now Melbourne up to the 50. Spills out the back to Brett Lovett. Hurried kick. Smith is there with Burke. Well done by young David Burke. Hasn't quite cleared the area yet. Michael Gale. That's the end of it. The kick by Gale. So, the Tigers have been rolled for only the second time this season. Well, Melbourne led at every change, but there were changes in the lead during the game. A tight contest at the MCG. The Demons prevailing by 11 points, 14-11 to 12 goals, 12. Lyon kicked five, Lovell kicked four, Neats three. And for Richmond, Nate... So Brisbane have kicked 10 of the last 14. It's a period of uh, domination for the Bears at the moment, 64 to 50. It's a great young player, Neitz. You feel the bigger the occasion, the better the result. 55 metres out, good kick. Oh, what a ball! Mark of the year. <laughs> Mark of the year in the last round. <laughs> now, go on, KB, what do you reckon? That is the biggest leap since Modra two years ago. And you called it that night, Robbo's mark of the year. And he's been trying for the whole year, Bruce, and he's got it in the last round. Have a look at that. Well, he certainly stood uh, upright on the top there. Looked like it was Richard Champion's shoulders. Sensational it was as he kicks the goal. Well, that's his second goal, but... Let's see it again because it is one of the all-time great marks. So Sean Smith, he must have scared a few of them at Werribee last year. He scared the a few paid. people to fly planes here tonight, <laughs> I reckon, Kevin. Now, I've never seen anyone as vertical as that standing upright taking a mark in league football. <laughs> Michael Mitchell took one in Western Australia many, many years ago, but I think that is one of the best marks in the history of the game. Oh, I concur wholeheartedly. Sean Smith, Neil Barr looking on. The D's have got the goal that Bruce thought they...